I am Saira Banu and I am planning to start a beginner's tutorial series of Android mobile app development. When you hear the word Android, first thing that comes to your mind will be a smartphone. But if you are the technical person, you must know more about Android. So today's video is about four main topics about Android, that is introduction to Android, Android versions, Android features, and Android architecture. Let's start with Android introduction. Android is an open source operating system based on Linux. It is designed primarily for touchscreen mobile devices such as smartphones, tablets, etc. Android is originally developed by Android Incorporated. Then Google purchased it in 2005. Google made Android an open source operating system means that it is free under Apache license and manufacturers can use it. Android has got millions of applications available in Google Play Store that can help you to manage your life. Most of the applications are free or low cost. Thus, Android become popular. Now, let's go into the versions of Android. Google released Android versions and these versions have very interesting names based on deserts in alphabetical order. Let's go into the features of Android. Here I am describing about some of the main features of Android that are storage, SQLite, a lightweight relational database is used for data storage purposes. Media support. Android supports audio or video or still media formats like MP3, MP4, JPEG, PNG, GIF, etc. Connectivity. Android supports technologies like Wi-Fi, tethering, Bluetooth, LTE, etc. Hardware. Android devices can include still or video cameras, touchscreens, GPS, dedicated gaming controls, etc. Messaging. Android supports text messages and push messages. Android has native support for multi-touch. Multitasking. In Android, multitasking of applications with unique handling of memory allocation is available. Handset layouts. Platform works for various screen sizes like watches, phones, tablets, TV, etc. Now, architecture of Android. Android is a stack of software components which is divided into five sections and four main layers. Firstly, Linux kernel. It contains all the low-level drivers for the hardware components. For example, camera driver, Bluetooth driver, display driver, USB driver, etc. There is second layer, which has two sections, libraries and Android runtime. On top of Linux kernel, in libraries, there is a set of libraries including open source web browser engine, WebKit, well-known library, LIBC, SQLite database, libraries to play and record audios and videos, Surface Manager, etc. Android Runtime provides code libraries and DVM, that is Dalvik Virtual Machine, which is a kind of Java Virtual Machine, specially designed and optimized for Android. Third layer, Application Framework, provides many higher level services to applications in the form of Java classes. Example, Activity Manager, Content Providers, Resource Manager, Notifications Manager, etc. Fourth layer is Applications. Installed apps from Google Play Store, 
or third parties. Example, contacts, calendar, camera, etc. So in this video, I covered introduction, versions, features and architecture of Android briefly. If you like to know more about Android and Android app development, please subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching. We'll come up with another video soon.